Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gus here again, and do you want a commentary? And um, just just living life, you know, just living at large, pretty good right now. Um, now, as far as the gameplay goes, this is a very short, very quick, very concise free for all in Modern Warfare 2. I recently hit level 70. And I am I'm adoring this AK right now. Last night I I grinded away for a good hour or so, got FMJ on it, and um, yeah, uh, I'm a fifth prestige level 70 at this point. So my goal, um, I'm not going to prestige again just because Black Black Ops is coming out soon. And prestiging is a bitch. Like unlocking all that shit over again just sucks so much shit I can't even explain it there were so many times when I prestiged and then I wish I wouldn't have prestiged because like it takes so long to build everything back up and to get to where you were the last prestige and I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty proud of this prestige um, this prestige a couple big things happened for one I got cold-blooded pro which I've never done before even back in the boosting days, I didn't even bother to boost for it. I've never gotten cold-blooded pro, and I um, actually did it, did it the legit way, this prestige, and um, it really was rather simple. Um, all you have to do is take out 40 air support things with cold-blooded on. I mean, honestly, that I think it maybe took me one or two days of an hour or so gameplay. But um, and then also this prestige I mastered my first weapon I've never mastered a weapon before uh, until this prestige I mastered the Scar H um, I just felt it was necessary to get extended mags on that gun because the clip is so tiny and then I also not only did I master the Scar but I also mastered the Tar 21 um, probably two of my favorite weapons right there and um, that'd be pretty tight if I could master, master the AK um, I don't know if I'd benefit so much from getting extended mags, but you guys get where I'm trying to go. Um, it's just fun mastering shit. Um, but then, like, I'm also gonna try to work towards, um, extended mags on my AA-12. Um, I unlocked... Also, first, I got, um, a Kimbo G-18s, which I've never done before. And then I went ahead and got, uh, extended mags. But uh, the G18's rape, if you didn't know. And then I got a Kimbo M93's, which I've never done before. Actually, I have done that before. Those guns are rapage. Um, so I've done I've done a lot of work this prestige, and I think uh, I'm not gonna throw it all away and start all over. If you know what I'm saying? Um, shit. Yeah, this is a rather short free for all, simply because my Harrier goes to work and my Pavlo absolutely dominates. So there's something about this lobby that I was in the other day and they just didn't want to take down air support. I don't know why. Anyways, um, moving on, I thought I would talk about some... just kinda let you guys know where I am in terms of my life and um, my gaming setup and uh, all that jazz. So, pretty much I have my own dedicated gaming room and essentially how it works is <clears throat> you walk into my bedroom you then walk into my closet and then from there there's a sliding door in my closet that opens up into a, a nice little gaming room in that gaming room I have my Xbox 360 my Wii never play it I have a 20 inch Sanyo non HD TV <clears throat> and then I obviously have my Dazzle in there. Um, what else do I have in there? Not much else. I'm, I have some posters and some, you know, some bean bags to lay down on, and you know, while I'm gaming and shit. But um, I just kind of wanted to. I mean, this whole YouTube thing—it's great, and I love commentating. I love being a part of the passion behind a game such as Modern Warfare 2 because. This is absolutely a beautifully crafted game. Not, not, not really. It's not a perfect game, but I mean, I've been enjoying it more and more recently. 
I think it's because like all the good players stopped playing Modern Warfare 2, so you run into a lot, a lot newbier players a lot more often or something. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I kind of want to upgrade to HD. If you know what I'm sizzling, like, you know, my TV, even though it is non-HD, it, it looks great. Um, it's probably the, it's it's a really good standard def TV and it looks great. But my dazzle doesn't really um, emit the quality, or uh, it doesn't. Um, shoot, I'm I'm at a loss for words. It doesn't quite resemble the quality that 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 particular TV puts out. So, um, in terms of me upgrading to HD, it's gonna take me getting a um, an HD monitor or an HD TV. Um, it's only gonna be a 20 inch TV because. I have a game. I have a cabinet where that TV, uh, a built-in cabinet into the wall where that TV is, and it can really only house a 20-inch TV. But that's fine because I sit rather close. You know, room isn't you know the largest of rooms, so it's not a big deal. But so that that um, high-def 20-inch monitor slash TV, it's gonna be around uh, $150, and you know it's not like it's not doable, but you have to realize at the same time I'm trying to save up for a car. I do have sufficient funds for a car at this point, but you know, the more money the, the better, you know, kind of deal. The more money you have, the better car you can buy, obviously. Um, and then once I get an HD monitor slash TV, it would obviously be in my best interest to <clears throat> buy an, um, an HD PVR. And that's going to end up costing me more than the HD TV, surprisingly. And, um, there's a sale going on right now. Um, you can get a Hot Pog HD PVR for $180, but um, not really at that point where I'm ready to buy the HD PVR because I need to get the monitor first, and that's gonna be a while. And um, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's just kind of where I'm at in terms of my gaming life. Um, we had a three-day weekend, so we had a you know a lo I had a lot of time to game, and uh, it felt really good. Got Got my gaming on with some friends. This is a good time. But um, anyway, guys, that has been uh, another commentary from yours truly. And I am out. Peace.